Hello everyone, Vita is a back with another deck review. This is the latest from Natalia Silva, the Tuxedo playing cards. And this is inspired by one of her backers and friends who uh, said that they used to do something with court cards where you're tuxedos. Not that it hasn't been done before. Um, you can say that the bicycle black tie deck for a different version from a few years ago. But that's what uh, this is the result from that idea. She took it, she ran with it. Printed by Make Playing Cards, 310 ZSM, French Casino, Stock, and Living Fitness. Front, you get a tuxedo. It says tuxedo playing cards. On the side, it says, designed by Natalia Silva. And the other side, limited edition. Top says poker size. Bottom, it says nataliasilva.net. And the back, nothing. You do get a, a bow tie here on the flap. But it would have been nice if it was like that, more centered and visible. Here it just it's there, but it's not really where it should be, I think. To be more effective, but it's fine. And you get some more bow ties here. By the way, I've never worn a bow tie that I can recall. Um maybe, but I don't remember. Anyway, inside there is the fire farts that C signed on the back. Might have maybe more made more sense to sign on the front because it'd be more visible, but it's fine. I don't know why I'm being critical of that, it's stupid, but it's awesome. I'm glad she said signed the card for me. So let's get on to the cards. As you can see, the back design here it's just a simple casino styled pattern featuring black and white bow ties. So the Jokers feature a raccoon in a stylus. Tuxedo or suit. Apparently he's got a bow tie and a regular tie. Kind of strange. It says Joker in the corners in black with black stars. And the other one, similar, except he's got different outfits and red writing. And the back again, just so you can see, mirror images and everything. The Aces feature a tuxedo inspiration as well. Uh, this one, uh, a nice tie with a pocket watch, and it actually says tuxedo on the pocket watch, but it's very hard to see. More fancy stuff, a shirt with a tie and some dress shoes, and it says tuxedo on it. They all say tuxedo, this one's got a pipe and a tie, and this one's got a tie and a top hat. Very cool. The court cards all feature animals, custom pips, though we're in tuxedos. Um, I, I think it maybe would have made more sense to have like a different set of animals per suit. Instead, you got kind of some of that. Like here, you got for the this and this looks very similar on the spades and the clubs, but they're on different suits. And then you got owls. So here we go. Here is that suit for the spades. You got some birds, owls, whatever, and then the gorilla guy. And then you got another gorilla looking guy in the clubs but that doesn't match this you know it's just it's yeah, just a minor thing it would have been a little bit better see here again you got another ape or gorilla for the other club so i don't i don't understand why it looks like they got you know three of each kind but they're in different suits but again just a minor little thing Let's look at the number cards, completely custom. It's almost a transformational type of deck, at least with the number cards, because they got pips within this artwork. The even number cards feature dress shirts with pips on pockets and ties and whatnot. Odd number cards feature martini glasses with olives, shaken, not stirred. So there's another one of those. And here's another one of the even numbers. Pretty cool. Silla's deck. So as far as the back design is concerned, it's simple, but it works, I suppose. Um, I would have liked to have seen something a little more sophisticated, maybe, to go with the tuxedo theme, but it is what it is. I'll say four and a half out of five. Faces, I like 
be again a nice artwork on the code cards as simplicity that customization of the number cards and whatnot i will say i'll say five out of five for the faces handling put it by make clean cards which is just a small notch below USB-C and MPN uh, Legends and Expert Point Guards, in my opinion. It's a good quality stock. It's a little bit thin, maybe, but I guess it's fairly similar to a bicycle stock. Finish is, it's on there, it's a linen finish, but it almost feels smooth, really. Um, but it handles good. I'll say probably four and three quarters out of five. Overall, good solid deck, probably. Four and a half, four and three quarters. I'll say four and three quarters out of five. Maybe four and a half out of five. Good, solid deck. I like it. Check out NataliaSilva.net. If you're looking for this deck, I'm not sure who is selling it. Aside from her, I'm not sure how many she has available. Because I don't think there was that many printed. Maybe 500 to 1,000. I'm not sure. Anyways, that is that. Cool looking deck. I like it. Don't forget to... Comment, rate, and subscribe. Check out collectibleplayingcards.com, cardporn.com. Links and discount codes in the description below. You save money. It's a win-win situation. Go do it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.